Uh, welcome to the exhibition. Uh, really delighted to have your work here. I think it's uh, such a gutsy, fantastic work. You can't, you can't just walk past without stopping and having a good look. And I was uh, very intrigued by the title that you gave it, Master Blaster. Well, thanks, Barbara. It's, it's great to be here uh, from the uh, wilds of Kaila and to the metropolis of Sydney once again. And, of course, Pro Hart's a, a very explosive type of artist, and in the past he's, he's used his uh, cannons and sing shots to uh, blast paint at their work. Uh, but in this case, Pro himself became the object, became the projectile. And uh, in this scene here is when he was working on his mission free engine, and something sparked, something happened, and next minute, as, in, as part of the painting shows, uh, Pro became not, not so much involved in the work, but thrown out of the work. And uh, he was knocked through the air and uh, was very worried that he only just missed his dog by uh, a few uh, metres. So that's why I called it Master Blaster. And, um, he really, I'm sure he really got a blast out of, out of the work. So, who, are your other, who are your other influences? Um, well, I've probably had like, an interesting uh, uh, development through my art from, from young days when... Uh, when I was about uh, three years old, Dad used to do drawings on the walls by my bed and, and also on the bricks and we did a few combined works as well. And then uh, Mum gave me a set of Safe of Swallowed Paints when I was about five and uh, so I tried them out and produced an uh, involuntary type work on the butcher's paper with the paint and then she gave me a set of textures after that. <laughs> so, and then in high school, uh, during an art class, I produced quite a regimental landscape uh, painting and took it up to the teacher of the world travelled Mr Lamb, the uh, superior art teacher, and he said it was very boring and, and uh, gave it back to me and uh, so I went back and I destroyed the work in every way humanly possible and threw it on his desk and he gave me a credit for it. And he said it was um, primeval emotion un unplugged and then he started taking on art tours around Adelaide and got me to do a combined mural with another fellow from school. So that was a strong influence in my life too. And in later years I accidentally met Pro Hart and, and he's pushed me along ever since, been an inspiration. And the first time I met him I was at 3 a.m. Three in the morning and showing me his gallery and showing me that many things that uh, my mind was just about blown. And so he blasted you as well? He blasted me as well. And, and then he also gave me the term of the naive or the modern primitive artist and that's sort of stuck since then. And uh, when he said I was naive, I sort of misunderstood it at first, but I knew he was talking about the artwork. <laughs> so it's great to be here, and uh, hope to be, uh, hope to be able to get here again next year. And well, thank you, and I hope that we'll be able to see a solo show down in Sydney sometime in the near future. Yeah. Thanks very much. It's been a great trip. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Vic. Okay.